hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video i have a summer haul for you guys i guess that's what i will name it <laughs> um i know it's been a minute since i recorded and uploaded for you guys and so i know this video is long overdue but i just want to you know put out a new video for you guys and again i'm sorry i just be so busy with life you know working full-time having my son and now in a you know good relationship so yeah you guys so um yeah so hopefully i will be able to keep these videos going for you know a little minute okay so i am super excited about some of the beauty products that i have picked up over the course of the past few weeks and i would like to show that to you guys um I am kind of disappointed about one product that I really wanted to try, but it got kind of snagged off the shelves and stuff um, because of the quality issue. You know, the Jaclyn Hill vault palette, she announced that she was releasing a vault palette. Well, she had some PR packaging go out and the some of the beauty bloggers and, you know, some of the people who got the package early um, said something was off about the quality of the makeup from um, Morphe. So Morphe and Jaclyn Hill put out a statement that they were going to release it. Um, it should have been released on, what, Tuesday, the 26th, I believe. It would have been released um, on the 25th or the 26th of June, but it got snagged. So they said they will put out the product once the quality issue get fixed so i am hoping that it be sometime soon so that i can review that for you guys on my channel so yes and that was the jacqueline hill vault collection the collab with morphe um so yeah so i just want to show you some of the products that i did pick up over the course of the past few weeks which you know was a little bit of products um i haven't been really shopping around like that lately but i do have a few products um, I will show you what I got from Bath & Body Works first. So, um, the first thing in my Bath & Body Works bag that I picked up were some um, face masks. I picked up these little face masks from Bath & Body Works. I picked up a few of them because I really wanted to see how it worked and, you know, put, incorporate it into my skincare routine. So... I got some doubles of the same ones, but overall, I just wanted to pick up some and just to see how it worked with my skincare routine. This is a tea tree oil and licorice root extract face mask. Um, so yeah, I really wanted to try these new, well, the face sheet mask from Bath and Body Works. So that's what this one is. This one is a shea butter and jojoba oil sheet mask, the pink one. The blue one is a sea mineral and a, a cornic acid. I don't know how to pronounce that, but that's what this is. And this is what this is. It says it's supposed to be refreshing on the skin. And of course, this one is a cucumber and aloe extract um, sheet mask. And so I think that's all of them. Yeah, that's all the sh different types of sheet masks that, that I have, but I have a whole nother stash right here. They're doubled. So, yeah, these are the types of sheet masks that I picked up from Bath and Body Works. So, I'm put that. Okay, so the next thing I picked up was some candles. They had their $10 candle special or whatever. So, the first candle that I picked up is the Pink Prescasco right here. And this is from White Barn, actually. You know, Bath and Body Works and White Barn are basically together. They collab together. So, this smells amazing and um on the back of this one it says the fragrance notes is pink lady apple sparkling prosesco and juicy pear so this smells so refreshing and i think i picked up two of them yeah i picked up two of these um i love bath and body works candles they are quite a bit expensive but i always get them on sale so you know i always have backups on back on backups um, the next one I picked up, of course, is another one of these Bath and Body Works Stress Relief Eucalyptus Spearmint Candle. I love this candle. I use all my other ones, and this one is made with eucalyptus and spearmint, which is the essential oils. That is the fragrance notes on that one. 
And the last candle that I picked up from Bath & Body Works is another white bar one. And it is Carper Coconut. Looks like this. I like the actual packaging for this. It's really pretty, pretty um, bronzy, metallic kind of. And the fragrance note on this is raw coconut, sea salt shells, soft amber, and it's with essential oil. So this one smells really good. I wish I would have had two of these and I would have picked up both of those. So that's all I actually picked up from Bath & Body Works recently. The next thing I got, I got actually got from Sephora. And I picked up the Tarte Shape Tape. Everybody was talking about the sharp the shape tape that I've never tried and I got the shade B so you know I wanted to see what all the hype was about and I actually used this as my concealer today and I actually really like it I see why it was kind of hyped up but you know I'm gonna play with it a little bit more I wish I should have got a shade um one shade lighter I don't know if it's warm or whatever but I think I should have got one shade lighter because you can't really tell I got like a you know it literally matches my foundation for the most part but i really like the way that this concealer works so i might go back and get a shade lighter in this concealer and that was the tarte shape tape concealer so the next products i got i got from mac i have a few products from mac i was super excited to pick up some products from mac because you know about a year or two ago I don't know if I discussed this on my channel, but about a year or two ago, I signed the petition for the Leah and Matt collaboration. So, of course, I had to, you know, snatch it up, okay? So, I went to Town Center two days in a row, picked up some products, you know. So, both, I don't think the collection itself at my location was selling pretty quickly because the lady told me, Within the first 100 customers, you'll get a free poster. Well, I went two different days, and I was still able to get a poster. So, this is the Aaliyah and Mac poster. And I got I got two of these. And um, my cousin, she is a Aaliyah fan. She did pick up some products from the collection. But I guess the one in Birmingham, where she lives, is was out of posters or whatever so i told her i would give her one of mine so what i plan on doing with that is actually getting a frame for it and putting it in my beauty room so yeah so i did pick up a few products from this collection so um i did get this little card and mail with it um yeah it says Congrats on your Aaliyah purchase. We're excited to share our love of Aaliyah with some of her biggest fans. We invited you for a return for a free 30-minute service with Mac with a Mac artist. Bring your favorite photo of Aaliyah and let us help you recreate her 90s glam look. So I got two of these. But I think I'm going to just frame it. I really don't want to go back to get my makeup done. So I'm going to just probably frame it. I'm going to pull out the product. So, I'm not going to actually go into too much detail about what I got, but if you would like to see a separate video on a review on this collection, please leave that down below in the comment section, and I would not mind to do a review for you guys, but this is the actual eyeshadow packaging. It comes like this. Love the burgundy um, for it. And this is the eyeshadow that I picked up from the Leanne Matte Collection with her signature on it. Like I said, I'm going to show you what I got. don't want to go into too much detail about it unless you want to review. And this is the eyeshadow right here. So, yeah, I, re I really like this. I think this is very gorgeous. So, yeah, we I have not used this eyeshadow yet. So, it would be perfect for me to actually do a review for you guys and do a live demo for you on my channel. Um, The next thing, I did pick up one of the lipsticks. I picked out lipsticks that I thought that I could actually use, not just to hold it as a um, collection. You know, some people do that. I try to actually use my makeup, even though it's collector. And one thing about this one, this is the t regular um, bullet shape of the MAC lipstick is, you know, it's real pretty. But one thing about it is that 
they don't I just haven't came up with a perfect red for me that I like but I wanted to get this one and this is hot like you know and I think this red will go perfect with a look and I'm actually trying to find an outfit to wear for my birthday because I'm supposed to go to Orlando with my boyfriend so we go to dinner be real sauced up for him you know so then I also have picked up a one lip glass and this one is in the shade at your best you are you know and this is that plum purple shade and this is actually what I have on my lips right now and um yeah if you'll like to see a review and you know how I feel about these products please leave that down below <laughs> the last thing that I actually picked up was the max flix plus I got this and I actually got it in the lavender scent I used this to set my makeup today it smells amazing um I had the regular fix plush that didn't have scent to it so I just wanted to spruce it up just a little bit and get the one with the lavender scent in it so yeah um yeah you guys so that basically concludes this video if you would like to see the Aaliyah and Mac collaboration review on my channel from me in a live demo please leave that down below in the comment section um if you have any requests for videos please leave that down below and um yeah you guys don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms I will leave that down below in the description box as well and um don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel and if you are already subscribed to my channel thank you guys for staying connected with me you know um i do check my social media often so please if you would like to see anything if you would like to talk to me you know um please message me on my social media and um like always guys i love you and i'll see you in the next video bye bye